So I'm going to do what I promised. I'm going to make a video about uh, a little bit editing in Lightroom. Uh, so yeah, you guys have asked me a lot about that and it's time to, for me to show you my post processing. And that said, uh, I am not an expert in Lightroom in uh, any ways. Uh, I have developed uh, some techniques and some uh, uh, workflow over the years. So I used and I'm comfortable with it, but I have a lot to learn myself uh, in regards to Lightroom. Uh, this is only the way I do post-processing images and not uh, necessary a good way to, to do it but this is how I do it and you might, might say that uh, you shouldn't begin there you shouldn't do exposure there you shouldn't do that and uh, that that is okay uh, for me I have just developed this type of style and if you are getting something out of it some tips uh, along the way that is perfect for me uh, otherwise, let's just dive into the computer and start to edit a photo. So here's the picture I'm going to edit today. Uh, this is a picture of a black grouse uh, taken in April this year here together with uh, my good friend Otbjörn. This was a wonderful, wonderful morning. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the background is orange, yellow, reddish. And uh, that is the sun uh, lighting up the background, the hillside, with some, um, with some um, dead grass in the background. And when the sun hits that first and the bird is in shadow, you get this really, really nice glow. So... Uh, uh, that is uh, how the picture is turned out when I out of the raw uh, file. So I'm going to show you what I do when I'm going to edit this picture. I start with cropping it in. Um, let's just do like this and yeah, let's do let's do it uh, four by three. Like this yes I'm happy with the with the composition now um, so the next thing I'm going to check is the histogram here uh, you see here it's a little gap in the highlights so I'm just taking the exposure a little bit up not too much um, but as I start to see little bit more details in the black hair and uh, overall a brighter image <clears throat> so uh, what I also see here now uh, so I I see a lighter spot in the middle here um, you see it's not in here here but actually in right here it's a lighter spot so I'm just gonna use my brush uh, take a minus 10 at exposure highlights 20 minus 22 and just start to brush over that area that is a little bit too light so I will do it a little bit more there and I also put in a little bit warm uh, warmer tones there so I just even this up a little bit more yeah I think that looks great. Now it's more even and I don't have a bright spot in here so uh, which was distracting me a little bit. Uh, next thing I will do is just to bring down the highlights uh, just a little bit there, minus 15 and then I just take the vibrance and the saturation that is uh, uh, like a default on me. I'm, I'm always using uh, only this plus five on both of them and that gives enough punch to um, to the colors as well I'm not touching the white balance yet I want to make the picture more finished before I experiment with the white balance and I tell you a little bit what I th uh, my thoughts around using white balance and um, picture overall uh, <clears throat> 
I will use the whites here just to brighten things a little bit more. You can see here that the edges are starting to pull together. So you see the background is uh, getting a little bit more glow as I'm pushing the whites a little bit further. Now it's almost touching, touching there. And to make it touch, I think I'll do a little bit in the in the curve there on the lights. And you can see it's much more brighter and you see the background is really, really um, nice there. Clarity, I don't use uh, that often because I don't like the look of, of uh, the picture when I do it. The haze, I don't feel the need to use that here. I can see what it does. Makes it a little bit contrasty, maybe. No, I don't. I don't like that. I will uh, pull down on the, make a little S curve there. Yeah. And then I go to the sharpness. Uh, I can see here that the, the picture is uh, sharp and nice. It's taken an ISO 1600, uh, 300 millimeter, f2.8 and um, 2000 of a second. And that um, shadow speed there frees the action of the birds when it start to, to uh, make that sound. Uh, so uh, I'm using the amount of around 60 and take the radius at 1.3, uh, 1.4 sometimes. Masking, I don't like masking because I intend to take away of the edges, um, the sharpness overall. So I don't like that. You can see a little bit noise here in the bird, but uh, I don't care. That is not that much. Uh, I don't use noise reduction here because that then I will take the noise reduction also on the bird and I will lose that sharpness especially on the edges so I'm not touching that I'm going to show you how I deal with a little noise in the background later okay uh, I think it start looks good um, the next thing I would do is now to see a little bit on the white balance uh, maybe a little bit warmer picture but um, as uh, as you're getting a bird or uh, animal in the shadow and a uh, backlight or the sun that light the background uh, you get the warmth of the background and the cool um, tones in the shadows and especially this bird hair has blue tones already so i want to preserve uh, that cool tones in the bird so if i'm pushing the white balance too much i think you are losing a little bit of that um, uh, blue tones in the bird there i actually liked how the background looked here but i'm gonna back up a little bit here what I can do uh, also, I can go down here to the calibration and do the shadow. Uh, only a little bit tinter, so get that a little bit cooler in the shadow. You can see here, it's not much, but it will make the shadows a little bit cooler. And then you can get that. That makes a contrast with that blue and yeah, orange look. I think this looks good. Uh, I might do a lens correction here just to open a little bit up with a normal uh, vignetting but uh, yeah I think that looks a little bit greater maybe so I might just use a little bit vignetting here um, I like the look of it how it is right now and Actually, this image here, I don't think it needs too much more. I, I don't like to overdo uh, the saturation and and uh, contrast. I like a little bit details there. If I'm starting to, to pull down on the, the blacks there, I think it may uh, will be a little bit too dark. 
but um, I like to have a little bit details there and uh, yeah let's see what the tint does there for the pictures no, I like the, the warm color there so uh, sometimes there can be some uh, distracting twigs or branches or uh, some small things that's, that uh, can take away from the picture uh, for me personal I don't like that black spot there in the background so I want to remove that of course when I am if I'm going to send this into a contest cloning things there are certain rules about cloning so you don't uh, allowed to do that but if I'm going to show it on uh, Facebook or Instagram uh, I don't mind cloning away small things here just to to um, take away that um, yeah like some black uh, dots there or other things that could distract for the whole image so for me it's okay to just I do like this here And I use the heel uh, feather 100, opacity 100, and uh, just adjust the size for how big it is. And I like that. It will be, uh, much, much better. I could do the branch that's sticking out on the side there, but uh, it's, yeah, I don't care about that. So I'll just leave it there for now. So I'm finished in Lightroom, so the next thing I will do now is to export it. I'm uh, export it for like showing it on the internet. And then I do, uh, you can see here, I um, export it in PSD, which is the Photoshop. I will uh, export it to Photoshop before I uh, save it on, uh, in a JPEG. And I use uh, for Facebook and Instagram, I use the Langes Edge for 2500 pixels and resolution I do 76. Um, and then uh, in post processing, uh, I choose uh, open in Photoshop. So what it does then is just open it up in Photoshop. Here it is uh, in Photoshop. And the first thing, first thing I'm going to do now is to choose the magic tool here and choose the background. I press the shift key in uh, and then I can just keep adding um, parts in the picture here. Because what I'm going to do next now is to remove noise from the background. And then I pick, uh, pick and uh, choose uh, mask. And uh, I don't know what is these are called in English, but uh, I can see the numbers that I have have in here, and then the, it will refine the edges uh, for me. Press OK. I think that's OK. And then I take uh, noise noise reduction, and it's on full power and keep the details is 24% reduce noise um, color noise is 22% and 0% uh, doing details sharper and that is good now I have reduced noise in background and uh, to just sharpen it a little bit more in the edges I took uh, I choose unsharp Mars mask and 162% uh, and radius 0.2 and then it will take the, a little bit sharper on the edges there. So, uh, which I also uh, will do is go into the curves there. I think the uh, curves software is a little bit better in the Photoshop than it is in the Lightroom. So I'm just checking what it does uh, in the light area here. Just to maybe pull the background a little bit more brighter. See before and after. Yeah, I actually like what uh, that does. It makes the image a little bit more brighter. Yeah. I like that. Uh, to finish it up, I am going to uh, this one here. I don't know what it's called in English, but you can see where I found it. And um, 
I choose inches and I want to make a frame. Uh, let's see here. There you go. And then uh, I can take the signature here and place it in the middle and transparency I would use around 71 and I can use the down up and down arrows to adjust to make it even okay this is the finished product and uh, let me do one more thing now this is the finished product and uh, as you can see here this is where I started at this is before and this is after you can see it pops more out more color brighter image and more contrast yeah I like that so I hope you get something out of this uh, like I said I'm not an expert in Photoshop or Lightroom but uh, you might pick up some tips how I work when doing uh, post processing in Lightroom and Photoshop so until next time, I will see you. Thanks for watching. Bye.